Hey, this is Ewan. Sorry that I cannot make it to a lecture, so I made this video and hope you guys like it. Um, my project is a essentially an animated recipe with makey makey control over fruit and a spoon. Um, I love baking, but a lot of times baking recipes are really frustrating. For example, this website here, um, this tiramisu one, some it's usually really really long. And first of all, they have some pictures and description. However, if you get into the real recipe, it only, first of all, it only listed the ingredients you, ne you need, but never tell you what equipment you need. So I bump into a lot of times that I don't have, I'm in the middle of the recipe, and then I find that I don't have the tool, and I had to give up the recipe because I simply does not have time to go and buy the equipment and tool. And also the directions are all with text, which is quite intimidating for for um for some people who are not into baking who, who or who just started baking. This is actually a pretty simple recipe. I've seen some recipes that are three or four pages long. And for this recipe, if I am in the middle of a step, it's hard for me to spot where I am and what the next step is if I just look at this um, these all these paragraphs so what I did is and also when I'm baking my hands are usually really really dirty like this um, I I don't really want it to use it to touch my computer because it will get flour onto the computer but um, I don't have other options so I use Makey Makey to control the up down left and right arrow um, that's why I can better control the recipe and with a spoon here because I don't um the spoon is connected to the ground so I don't have to um hold the ground while touching the fruit it's <clears throat> and what I did is here so tiramisu in a cup and if you want to go to the first step the celery represents the right arrow and it will show you the tools you need all the tools including the tools that you need for your for your um, baked product in this case is tiramisu this is a eight serving tiramisu recipe and it requires two bowls and next step ingredients all the ingredients you need this is pretty similar to most of the recipes, however this has actual pictures which might help some people who have no idea what that is, especially such as this lady fingers. If you never made tiramisu before, you probably have no idea what lady fingers are. They're a kind of cookie that's um, mostly used for tiramisu. And so the first step, what I've been doing is just using my spoon to hit, hit the celery here. Here we go. And then go. Add sugar. You mix it. If you happen to forget the next step, all you did was um, this cabbage here is the left arrow. All I did was hit this and go back. You can go back how many, no matter how many steps you want to, and then go forward. Sorry, I went back too much, so we have to do this again. Mm. Add egg, add sugar, mix it. Then add mascarpone cheese, vanilla extract, mix it again. And if you notice, this says second bowl. The previous one with uh, whipping cream says first bowl. So you have two bowls here. That is also mentioned in the tool section so that you are aware of you need two bowls. Otherwise, if you finish one bowl and if you figure you don't have a second bowl, you have to probably dispose the thing you made earlier and yeah more mixing and ta 
how to assemble the tiramisu. Quick duck, go in there. Better. Lady fingers. And one more layer. So here you got your tiramisu ready. And it says cup times eight. So I need eight, make eight of this. And let's go to the next step. And you got eight of your tiramisu. And then they go into the fridge, refrigerate for four hours overnight. And then next step. This is a cocoa powder with scent, and if you can see, it says dusting cocoa powder on top of it, and enjoy!